Hi everyone, welcome back to Healthy with Nicole. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the connection between melatonin and gut health. So for a lot of people that have some kind of random gut health issue like SIBO or inflammatory bowel disease or colitis or Crohn's, you might already know that there is a connection between your sleep patterns and what's going on in your gut. And there's a lot of reasons for that, but the one I wanted to zero in on today is about melatonin. There is some really great research that I will link down below and also up here about the use of melatonin to actually improve your gut health. Now, this is kind of a double-edged sword because if you have gut issues, you're probably going to have an impairment in your melatonin production. And I know that seems weird because we think of the pineal gland as the source of melatonin production, which it is. However, you make 400% more melatonin in your gut than in your pineal gland. So if you have a malfunctioning gut, whether it's uh, leaky gut, gut permeability, um, imbalance in the microbiome, inflammation, a number of things can cause a reduction in the um, process there of making it a melatonin. So it can then affect your sleep, but not everybody. So uh, this is just something that some people may notice. And then the flip side of that is that um, you know, even if you do have it, you can still use melatonin and obviously we need sleep to heal, right? So, so it's more than just um, adding in this hormone. We want to help it help us to heal by sleeping more and using melatonin to do that. But there is um, one study that showed that the gut health can actually be improved just by supplementing melatonin. Obviously we want to make it naturally um, and there's ways that you can support that. First of all, obviously gut health. So anything you can do to improve gut health and I'll link some articles on that and a video here, but also in just in, um, you know, supplementing it, changing the times of your sleep pattern. So you're going to bed before you know, 11 o'clock at night. Um, you're not interrupting your sleep patterns with food. You're not waking up during the night, especially to eat or for any other reason. Um, and you're not looking at screens because obviously that does uh, mess up your circadian rhythms and turns the, the light does affect your ability to produce enough melatonin. So those are some of the ways that you can actually help to improve your levels of melatonin, which would therefore improve your gut health. But also don't forget that you can use gut health and improve gut health to also improve and increase melatonin. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and comment below if you've noticed a difference in your sleep by working on gut health, or maybe uh, if you've used melatonin and what you've seen out of that. And I'll see you in the next video.